All right, what up, everybody? It's your boy, Akeem, and welcome to this vlog. Here to give you another college football preview on a team for the 2016 college football season. Working things in the AM uh, Conference USA East Division, going to talk about the Marshall Thundering Herd. Now, head coach Doc Holliday has been doing an excellent job as head coach. Last season, he led the team to a 10-3 overall record, winning in the St. Petersburg Bowl, 16-10 to UConn. Now, he's trying to get back into a conference. Conference USA title appearance. Now, the last season, they actually had a new quarterback, a good predecessor with Chase Litton, who had 2,600 yards passing, 23 touchdowns, and eight interceptions. I think so far, he's been doing a pretty good job replacing Raheem Cato. He was a star quarterback for Marshall as well at quarterback. Now, he, this season, it's going to be a tough break for Litton because he's going to have to play without his top offensive weapons. Starting with running back De uh, Devin Johnson. He's now with the Carolina Panthers. Devontae Allen and um, DeAndre Reeves, their top two wide receivers, they're no longer with the team as well. They're now trying out for respected NFL teams. This is going to be a tough break for Litton, so there's going to be some players that's going to have to step it up, particularly all-purpose player Deontay uh, McManus, who was a uh, all-purpose uh, performer and uh, an all-conference uh, USA performer and all-purpose yardage. I think he could be an excellent weapon for Litton this upcoming season. Now, in the defensive unit, they do have some key players returning, starting with Lyman and Gary Thompson, who had nine sacks last season at defensive end, and he could be the third straight player from Marshall to win Defensive Player of the Year honors in Conference USA, and they do have some experience in the secondary with Taekwon Tang and Rodney Allen. They actually have a couple interceptions each, uh, each, so it shows that they do have some experience in the secondary. Now, if you take a look at their schedule, it could be a tough one at starting on uh, uh, um, September the 24th against Louisville. That is going to be one of the biggest, um, the first big test of the season. Then later on, on October 1st, they have to face against Pittsburgh, a couple non-conference games. But then when you get into conference play, their big one big test is October the uh, 29th at Southern Miss. That's going to be a good game to watch. And the season finale, uh, November 26th against Western Kentucky. That is going to be possibly indications of who wins the East Division of Conference USA play. Now, overall, for their record, I think they're going to get eight wins this season because they lost so many players. I actually want to stick with Western Kentucky to making it back, representing the East in Conference USA title for 2016. So I have the uh, Marshall Thunder and Herd going eight and four overall this season. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys will be in a couple of minutes. I have more blogs for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.